Right, let's get stuck into function notation. Now, it's just a fancy way of writing equations and expressing certain information. So we've all seen an equation written like this, our good old friend a quadratic. Um, y equals 2x squared take x plus 5. Well, function notation means that we could now write this as f of x equals 2x squared take x plus 5. All, right. all it's doing is fancying it up and saying that the y can now be represented by f of x, a function in x. Now, with this, if I wanted to find out what's y when x is um, 3, we would possibly have to write find y when x equals 3, and to do that we would substitute it in. We just go, okay, that means 2 times 3 squared minus 3 plus 5. So wherever x is, we replace it with 3, and that becomes 2 times 9, so 18 take 3 plus 20. All right? That represents a point. It represents the point 3, 20. Pretty simple, all done and dusted. Well, this is pretty much the same. It just makes our life a little bit easier, believe it or not, that instead of writing all of this, we can just say, well, I guess we still have to technically say find, but very often you would just see this written, f of 3. You wouldn't even have the find, f of 3, and people know that that means go to your f function, because obviously if there's a second function, we might call it g of x. In fact, let's make one right now. So if we had g of x equals 4x minus 1. So if I want to find f of 3, it means go to the f1, wherever x is, replace it with 3. So 2 times 3 squared minus 3 plus 5. So you can see you get exactly the same thing, which is 20, and it still represents the point 3, 20. Okay? If I I had another question and it said, how about we find, um, let's change colour because it's so groovy. If we say find g of minus 5. So that's now saying we'll go to your g function and wherever x appears, replace it with minus 5. We get 4 times minus 5, take 1, which is minus 21. So that would represent minus 5 minus 21. Okay, it also allows us to um, sometimes use different variables, and I think you've seen it also where we might have had um, quadratics when we talked about time. So we had we've seen functions that look like this: h of t equals uh, minus t squared plus three t plus 2. Okay, we know that represents a quadratic and because it's minus it's a sad face so it might mean that it's representing a rocket that's going up. Okay, so in this case t stands for time and h represents possibly the height of the rocket. So sometimes we can choose letters that um, represent certain variables in the equation and they make sense. Okay, I mean you could have just had it as f of x equals minus x squared plus 3x plus 2, not a problem, but we can also see it like this. And so once again, if we say find h of uh, 2, that would be saying find the height of the object when t is 2. And so that means wherever t is, replace it with 2. And away we go. Okay? So nice and simple, one hopes. One of the things that you do have to be aware of is reading the notation very clearly. So if we write this again, we'll have our function, was it 2x squared plus 5? So if we have our function down here, we've got f of x equals 2x squared, what was it again? Minus x plus 5. So we established that when we have something that is f of 3, it means go to the f function wherever x is, replace it with 3. We've got that. We could fancy this up, make that a little bit challenging. So, you know, double check that you know what's going on. So what if I had asked you to find f of x minus 1? What does that mean? Well, same thing. It means go to your f function wherever x is 
instead of replacing it with 3, we now want you to replace it with x take 1. So it becomes 2 times x minus 1 squared. I'm just reading along here. What comes next? The minus. What comes next? x, except wherever x is, we were replacing it with x take 1. Make sure you use those brackets. All right, and now expand as per usual. Have a look. Remember how we expand an x take 1 squared? I'll just do it up here. x minus 1 squared is x take 1 times x take 1 and we expand like so okay for those who remember the expansion rule it's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared i like to just go with this anyway so this will be 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus x plus 1 plus 5 and then we can just gather our like terms so we end up with 2x squared minus 4x take x is minus 5x 2 times 1 is 2 3 and we end up with 8 okay so you know it's just about going back and substituting and reading what you want and remember when we have two different functions um, make sure that you substitute in the correct one so we said g of x was 4x take 1 Okay, so we could get um, quite fancy over here. So we have our two functions. We've got f of x equals um, our original one here. Oops, I'm trying to do there. Um, and g of x equals 4x take 1. So once again, what if I now said, uh, how about we go g of f of x? You think, good lord, that looks complicated. Again, break it down a little bit at a time. So you go, well, what do you know? Do we know what f of x is? Yes, so we say g of, and instead of f of x, we can write what f of x is. It's 2x squared, take x, plus 5. And then we go back to the basics and say, well, what is this actually telling us? We have to read it. It's saying go to your g function, and wherever x is, we want to replace x with 2x squared, take x, plus 5. So this now becomes 4 times 2x squared, take x, plus 5 take 1 and so on okay so that becomes 8x squared minus 8x 4 fives are 20 take 1 is 19 okay um, and the last bit that we want to be aware of and this comes back to being able to read so we looked at before we had f of 3 meant we substitute 3 in place of x and we ended up with 2 times 3 squared minus 3 plus 5 equals 20. So what I'd like you to consider is what if I had f of x equals 3. Is that saying the same thing? And I'd like to think that you go, no, no, it's not, right? This is telling you that the function, this whole thing, actually equals 3. That is very different Right? It is not the same as that. Very different. So this is now saying we'll replace f of x with 2x squared take x plus 5. And we're saying that that equals 3. And now what would you be compelled to do? You'd want to bring the 3 over the other side. Uh, plus 2 equals 0. And then we would solve that if we could. So you could either quad formula factorize, go calculator, might have solutions, might not. We just made that one up. Okay. So make sure we know the difference Okay, between when we're actually asking you to replace x with something. So if I had f of uh, 4, that is saying go to your f function and wherever the x is, replace it with 4. Okay, so that'll be 2 times 4 squared, take 4 plus 5, and we end up, bang, we get an answer. But if we had g of x equals 12, that is not saying replace x with 12. That is saying now go to your g function up here, and it equals 12. So it's 4x, take 1, equals 12, and now we can solve. So that's 4x equals 13 therefore x equals 13 over 4. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a rundown of function notation.